Hi, I'm Rich Harwood, president and founder of the Harwood Institute for Public Innovation. I'm really excited to announce a new lab that we're launching called Unleashing Impact. It's new content. We haven't taught it before. And the content comes primarily from two sources. One, research that we did for my latest book called Unleashed, which you may have seen, which is all about how you can unleash a chain reaction of actions and ripples throughout your community by starting small and going big, and by doing that with increasing momentum and ever-expanding civic confidence in your work and in your community. The other source, well, the other source is you. We listened and now we're acting. Over and over again, when I've been out talking to people, whether through Zoom or face-to-face, -face, folks have said to me, Rich, we want to know how we can take the work with turning outward to the next level. We want to know how we can accelerate and deepen our efforts. We want to know how we can sustain these efforts over time. And so, like I said, we listened and now we're acting. And in return, we're launching this new lab called Unleashing Impact. If you've been to one of our labs before, well, this lab is for you. It'll help build on what you've already learned. If you haven't been to a lab before, well, no worries. Maybe you've pulled something down from our website and you've been using it, or maybe you are introduced to our practice from a colleague or a friend and you've been exposed to the work that way. That's all good too. Each and all of you are welcomed at the lab and each and all of you will find something meaningful and important and significant to help you move forward in doing the work in your community. Now, who's this lab for more specifically? It might be that you've gotten started using our work and you want to know how you can accelerate your efforts. Well, this lab is for you. There may be those of you who have been using our work for a while and you're well on your way and you're wondering, well, what are the next steps and how do I stay grounded in this practice and how do I make sure those I'm working with in my organization or my group or my community, how can we keep going and keep moving forward and keep learning from what we're doing and stay aligned in our efforts moving forward. This lab is for you too. And then there may be some of you who are wanting, my God, we're coming out of COVID. I am so tired. I'm exhausted. I'm fatigued. I have a glimmer of hope in my heart about what can happen moving forward, but I just don't know if I have the energy and the bandwidth to go to a lab right now. And what I'd say to you is this, this lab will help reinvigorate you. It will help reground you. It will help you figure out how you can take small steps and grow them over time. We don't need to take on the whole world all at once, but we do need to get in motion. And this lab will help you do that in a smart, sensible, meaningful way. So this lab is for you too. You know, at the Institute, we just released a new national report entitled Civic Virus, Why Polarization is a Misdiagnosis. I'm sure you felt it. So many of us all across the country feel this deep anxiety about what's happening in our country and in our lives. And it started long before COVID came along, but it's been exacerbated and accelerated by this pandemic. What we found in this study is that we're in a kind of fight or flight response to this anxiety that we're feeling and that so many of us are separating and segregating from one another just at the time when we need to come together and figure out a way forward. That's why I think this lab is so important because I think we have a fundamental choice in our country today. I think you and I face a fundamental choice in our lives. Will we surrender to the false notion of polarization that has engulfed our nation's narrative and our sense of where we are? Or will we step forward? Will we turn outward toward one another? Will we build together so that we can move our country in a more just, fair, equitable, and inclusive and hopeful path forward? That's our choice. I know which side of this you're on. You want to move forward. You want to build together. You want to turn outward toward others and you want to step forward so that you can do those things. If that's where you are right now, if you want to know how you can act on that right now, if you want to know how you can engender hope 
both within yourself, within your organization and group, or within your community, and help spread that sense of hope throughout our society, well then, this lab is for you. So let me just close by saying, I hope in these hard times that you've been in good health and in good spirits. And I hope that you'll join us for this new lab called Unleashing Impact. Thanks, be well.